Hey, what's going on? What's going on? You already know it's the conscious one where you get nothing new under the sun. So today I'm going to do a breakdown for you guys of astrology breakdown. Um, I went out and I got me some astrology dice. So I'm going to do a breakdown started from Aries um, all the way down to Pisces. So you, you're going to see all the videos posted up. So right now we're going to start off with Aries and we're going to do a, a breakdown of the energy that's taking place right now for you guys. Right. So. The dice, I'm going to show you guys the dice, and I'm going to show you guys how I broke it down, right? So, hopefully you guys can see that right there. That is the sign of Pisces, but you guys get to see the dice. The green dice is going to be um, the zodiac signs, right, from Aries all the way to Pisces. So, what came out was the Pisces, right? So, I'm going to break that down in a second. What else came out is the purple dice, so the purple dice is, is going to have numbers on it from 1 to 12. And what it actually is going to break down is going to show you which house that you're having the, um, the influence in or the situation or your emotions. How it's going to play out through your emotions. So right now for Aries, it's the fourth house, right? I'm going to break that down for you guys as well. And the last thing came out was um, for Aries is Neptune. Now these are the um, also the, the 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 blue dice, and the, these go from the sun, the moon, um, for each uh planet. These are the signs of the planet. It also has um the north node and the south node. Um, and some 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 of the um some of the readers are going to break down the north node and the south node, right? So let's get straight into it. This is for Aries, and this is a timeless reading. Um, I did this maybe um 48 hours ago, so it can be for today. It can show you um the energy for next week or just 2024 in general. Okay, so the first thing came out like I showed you guys was the number four, right? So the number four, you guys know, is the breakdown of the fourth house. So the fourth house deals with family. It deals with your domestic issues. It deals with your foundations, and it also is your emotions. Right, so the fourth house we have Pisces energy, right? So when it comes to Pisces energy, we're talking about karma, we're talking about um the sign of reflection, um, imagination, um, your dreams, how compassionate you are, um, spirituality, being sensitive, your um creativity, and also your emotional intelligence, right? So we have the fourth house, we have net, we have um, I'm sorry, we have Pisces. In the fourth house. So when it comes to your family, when it comes to your foundations, when it comes to your how, how you are being emotional, think about what your dreams are about. I mean, physical dreams that you're actually dreaming about and also dreams you're having while you're asleep, right? Your lucid dreams. So if you're lucid dreaming, it's a good time to um, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to spirituality. When it comes to your metaphysics, as above, so below. When it comes to your, your connection with your mind, your body, and your spirit, right? And it comes to being compassionate. Are you being compassionate to yourself, right? A lot, a lot of times right now, we're being distracted, and we're, we're thinking about everything outside of ourselves. Think about you. Think about how you're connecting to yourself on, on, on the deepest level. And the last thing when it comes to uh, uh, Pisces is your creativity, right? Creativity is an energy that you have to tap into. And if you're not tapped into that energy, right, it's very hard to get into your creative groove. Where sometimes people will say like writer's block or things like that. That's because they're not tapped into their creativity. So the last thing is we have is uh, Neptune, right? So we're going to blend this all together. So we have the fourth house, right? Like I said, which is family, your foundations, um, your domestic issues and things like that. And then we have Pisces there, which deal with your creativity, which is also, uh, um, so Pisces is a water sign. So it's dealing with your emotions as well, right? So I, I would say, make sure you're being compassionate to yourself and having that balance when it comes to being compassionate to others. Whether that, and so right now we know the fourth house, when it's dealing with family, that means being compassionate to your children, Right, having compassion for your children and having compassion for your family, which is probably your mom or your dad. So it shows me right now you guys could be going through some type of issues or dealings with your family when it comes to your mother, when it comes to your father, or even your grandparents. I know some of you guys are raised by your grandparents, so pay close attention to those things 
And, and what I would say is transmute any type of thing into your creativity, right? Any type of problems that you're having with your family, transmute that into your to um your creativity. Now, what I mean by that, right? So if you if you grew up and you felt abandoned, right? If you grew up and you felt abandoned, a lot of people will play victim and think that okay, it's okay. I grew up in a, an abandoned household, so I can play victim. No, what God is really saying to you, use what you've been through to help others. So what you will do is probably start a school um, or be a teacher or be a nurse or something. So that way you can give back to those who are abandoned or do um, some kind of charity or something. Give back food. Give back in some kind of way. Right. Hope, hope that makes sense to you guys. So like I said, the last thing we have is uh, Neptune. Right. So there, there, there's a correspondence to all these things regardless. So also when it comes to Neptune, Neptune is your intuition. Is your dreams right? I just mentioned your dreams because Neptune, um, Neptune, one of the planets that is in Neptune, um, I mean in Pisces. I'm sorry, one of the ruling planets when it comes to Pisces is Neptune. So you're going to hear me talk about dreams, right? So your dreams, right? Making sure you're not being delusional though when it comes to your dreams because Neptune is a sign of being delusional at time. So right now, make sure you you having that proper balance when it comes to that. So um, also is imagination, right? So it's your dreams, it's your creativity, it's having imagination, and also Neptune is the planet of memories. So like I said to you guys, uh, it's a blend. You have the fourth house, which is family, foundations. You have Pisces, which is your dreams and being compassionate and your spiritual, your spiritual self. And you have Neptune, which is also intuition, dreams, imagination, right? So it all ties in to your, your, your dream world. Make sure that you're connecting your dreams to your family, or you might want to think about starting a, 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 a family business. Like you might have a dream about what you want to do. Incorporate that dream with your family. That's what is, that's what is showing. Incorporate that dream with your family. Now this is not for everybody, but for some of you guys, you may have a business that you want to start incorporate your family in that in that business or it could be something that you went through with your family right like I, I gave you guys an example of being abandoned use that fire to help you start a business or go back to school to get some type of certificate or some type of um training that will help you out to start a business or some type of endeavor to help you when it comes to your dreams your creativity and your imagination right so I think that's a really good breakdown. If you have any questions, you guys can hit me up. Peace. Come to when I'm out. So that, that, that was the Aries sign uh, to repeat. If you guys don't know, Aries.